Hello, we are on round four of the popper, uh, ah, modern, <laughs> modern challenge. We're in 20th place right now. You know, we're near the top of the three O's, right? Like the top of the two ones that is right below the three O's. There's 17 three O's. Okay. We are first yet again, so we'll keep it. Uh, I mean, I keep, we'll just go eat first. Uh, this hand does not actually have any mana on turn one. If we had one more zero drop, it would have some mana and I'd keep this because it looks really nice. Um, could I have to mulligan this hand? Ooh, okay, so this has no no color. Okay, so, okay. Four lands, no payoff cards, no colored mana to play the master. This is actually... I... I have to say this is unkeepable. But, hmm. <sighs> is there a better five? Because this is already a mulligan to five. Would I keep this five if the Master of Ethereum wasn't there? No, so I'm going to mulligan. Yep, this is a bit better. It has more game, I guess. Uh, we'll bottom this. We don't want a Ornithopter. So we'll play Sigma Pest. We will play Memnite. Mox Opal is our best top deck. Oh, so it looks like Blue Eye Control. That's bad for us. Um, so we have to try and kill our opponent as soon as possible before they get to four mana and supreme verdict. <clears throat> Spreading seeds would be nice. Okay, so we're gonna swing with Nexus. Yeah, Nexus. We want the damage more than we want the uh, Ink Moth right now. Because our, our entire board is all about putting in as much damage as possible, so yeah. Pwn down to 12. We really just want to get to our blue mana. All right, so we're going to animate everything. So if our opponent has a board wipe, it sucks. Uh, but that's just how it works, playing Affinity. And this is why you could say Bowmat's a really good card. Um, if I had had Bowmat in the opener, if I just had a top deck to Bowmat now. OK, so Vendillion click. And they want to check my hand, maybe? Or they want to do their hand? Check theirs. Yeah, that's fair. Remand. Yeah, Remand's bad. Um, probably, are you serious? I would have blocked the signal pass, but that means they have a, um, that means they have a Supreme Verdict. All right, let's just pump the Ink Moth. Swing for two more Infect. Really just need the blue source for the master. Oh, Jace, not good. Um, they're digging for removal. They probably have it, to be honest. But I'm just going to have to go for it anyways. Yeah, I'm just going to let Jace live. If I can't kill it in one turn, I'm not going to bother. So if they try and remove Courier, I'm going to sacrifice it. Because I need the mana and I need a better card than master. I can't even cast Master right now. Eh, that's fine. If he returns it, I don't care. Like, of all the things to do with Jace, unsummoning something is just stupid. It does suck that I got a mountain, so I don't even get to get one off of a Field of Ruin. But yeah, our opponent is really, like, they're, they're low. So cranial plating is not lethal. It's like they're, they go down to like three or something. Hmm. So they probably have a counter spell for the Bowmat. Spreading Seas sucks. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, I actually, okay, okay. So they gave me the mount, the island for one. Let's go ahead and play Courier. And I'm going to kill the Jace here. Looks like our opponent doesn't even have the Path to Exile. So if they have another board wipe, it sucks. <clears throat> Bowmat might help us rebuild, though. So if we can get Bowmat to survive one more turn then we might still have a chance in this game. And of course, if they don't remove the master. Um, hell, our opponent can't even block with the Celestial Colonnade right now, so that's nice. Um, our best top deck is probably a Cranial Plating. 
Or a Ravager? Yeah, a Ravager. If they have the Verdict, they have... Oh, okay, Detention Sphere. So they Sphere the Master. Yep. And now here, if they can't remove Bowmat, this is why it's a good card. Because I get to draw off of it. Or I make my opponent waste removal on it. So that's a Spreading Seed, so yeah. So I can still Spire the Bowmat. Okay, we'll play the Mox Opal. We'll swing at the Bowmat. Um, so it feels like my opponent has a bunch of counter spells in hand. So it is it is a good idea to try and say sacrifice the Bowmat there. But I'm going to try and be greedy and make my opponent waste a removal spell. And then sack the Bowmat. So they're holding up a Cryptic. But now I have 3 for 1 to my opponent instead of 2 for 1. So we're going to play out the Pest. We're going to play the Cranial Plating. They could Cryptic right now. This is like all in, basically. But that's fine. Yeah, that, that happens. That's how it works. Jace, that sucks. Hmm. <sighs> Probably looking at my library, I think. Yeah, okay, so put a card on top. Wonder what it is. Spreading seas, yep, good choice. Citadel, that sucks. So they might just get the Jace win here, but I'm, I'm gonna play it out because it is kind of a close game right now still. Um, if they bottom something and then I top like a cranial plating, for example, I can still win. Yeah, so bottom and then top deck plating. So they're holding up a counter spell. I'll just have to play I have to play the overshoot. Like I have to play it out. I can't I can't just like wait at this point, because Chase is a ticking clock right now with his ultimate. Zernak, you knew! Game two and three. <laughs> you knew! Cryptic. Sphinx's Revelation. Okay. Holding up a path. Oh, Logic Knot. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that sucks. Brainstorm. Yep. So maybe it was a mistake not to have played out the plating, like not to have sacrificed the Bowmat Courier, except I was able to draw out a Detention Sphere, and that Detention Sphere would have hit the plating anyway, so it's like, I want to attack to my opponent's removal and draw a card off of Courier, so I still think it was correct to do what I did there. So six, second Signal Pest is relevant a little bit, except our opponent has Special Colonnade up for blocks. So even next turn, I can't just attack with both of them. Well, I can, and they go down to four, but I don't run Galvanic Blast, so I'm not trying to get them into Blast range. Yeah, Wrath of God, that's fair. Can they colonnade? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they can even colonnade right now if they want. All right, we're going to hold back the Citadel just to try and bluff our opponent out. Make them think we have a, an extra card in hand to try and get countered. So they're going to brainstorm again. Yep, no problem. I feel like if our opponent wasn't brainstorming, it is instead just uh, plussing, they'd be better off. Hmm, should I be running Archive Trap? Try and mill my opponent for 13. Let them deck them. Deck themselves. Notion Thief, that's what I need. Notion Thief and Affinity. Spreading seas, yeah. Elspeth, ooh, that's a good clock. Three tokens, oi. Um, yeah, if they have a logic knot or a mana leak. No, okay. Well, mana leak wouldn't do anything, but logic knot, yeah. So this is bad because they can just unsummon with Jace. They can keep plusing. They can minus three to kill my master even with Elspeth. So probably lose this plus they can dig for the um path 
and Jace is two turns away from ultimating. So I there's no way to win. So at this point, I guess I'm playing for time or something. I, I would I don't know. Now they can colonnade, still holding up cryptic and even path, cryptic mana leak or logic knot, whatever. So oh well. So cranial plating is a good draw. Um, although my opponent is just going to, I don't know, I'll hit the Jace, I guess. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna chump block no matter what. I don't really have any outs right now, unfortunately. So at this point, I'm just going to try and play to time to just like play it out as, much, as long as we can uh, for this match, rather than just conceding. Because we can always draw like a flyer and then not die next turn. Although our opponent can block a flyer. Ooh, wow. Jeez. That's a lot. Yeah. That's how it works. Let's kill the our opponent. A forgets to block. Doesn't forget to block. And I'll, yeah, whatever. I could have, uh, I forgot to attach to Vault Scourge, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and they could have the Elspeth ult anyways, so GG. So our opponent won anyways. So, against Blue White Control, we bring in all these cards. And we like Bowmat. We take out Memnite, take out probably two Memnites. Probably take out an Overseer, take out our Masters. Because they're good, but they just died a path. Um, so Rest in Peace. Like, we don't want to side in Rest in Peace just to turn off their Snapcasters. Plus, it turns off our own Ravagers. So Rest in Peace isn't worth it. Um, we probably take out Vault Scourges, because we like Couriers. Or no, we take out Signal Pests. Yeah, because they're running... One, they're running Vendillion Click, and second... No, we, uh... Okay, because, like, Signal Pest kind of, like, is, like, mini Overseer because it encourages us to go wide. Nah, I want Signal Pest, actually. They're a quicker kill than Vault Scourges. They're basically just Vault Scourge, but better. Except, like, when they're alone, they don't do any damage. So, yeah, we'll leave it at this. Um... We could probably shave, we could shave an Overseer from their Vault Scourge, but I don't think we need to. Right? Yeah, I like having the Overseer. Like the th three instead of two. Seagate Wreckage is a house. Um, hopefully our opponent, like hopefully we end up like top making it later in the game when we need to start drawing cards and our opponent doesn't have the Fuel of Ruins or the Spreading Seas. I mean, they have a lot of main deck answers to Seagate's Wreckage. But if we can draw at least one card off of it, then it's worth it. So we gotta cross our fingers and hope we can win this. Like blue eye control is probably just one of our worst matchups uh, that are like winnable. So compared to say Storm, like you can't really win against Storm to be honest. Like we draw average and they draw average, they win. Uh, you have to get the God draw against Storm and then hope they stumble for a turn as well. Cause they're essentially a turn three deck while Affinity is a turn, can be a turn three deck, but it's mostly a turn four deck. Like Storm wins consistently more sooner than Affinity does. Uh, this is a keep. Yeah, definitely a keep. We'll do Welding Jar. We'll play the Courier. Go ahead. So we're going to play Pest and Vault Scourge rather than the Cranial Plating because if they get Sony Silence, it's just bad. They might Serum Visions. Looks like a Serum Visions. Cool. So, let's see. They're going to top, top, bottom, top, bottom, bottom. Bottom, bottom is best. Because then that means they have, they're have searching for a card. Bottom, bottom. Sweet. So they don't have what they need. But they probably have... Ooh, Bitter Blossom. Great. All right, so we're going to play out the Pest and the Vault Scourge. We're going to swing with the Courier. So we just need a colored mana source for the Bitter Blossom. Because Bitter Blossom will just straight up win us the game if our opponent can't counter it or remove it. 
Looks like they don't have the Sony Silence, which is great. Colored Source, come on. Oh, so they're gonna remove the Courier. Yep, that's fine. Yep, you can go ahead and path it. Nope. We're gonna play out the plating. If they have a Spell Snare, it sucks. If they have a Ceremony Rejection, it also sucks, but it's fine. So, the thing is like, Bomat Courier is another must kill for our opponent because it brings us card advantage. But now my Sigma Pest lives, my Vault Scourge lives, right? So, would I rather like one of these die and then like I had a Galvanic Blast in hand instead? Like, nah. All right, they're gonna take the plating. Cool. Come on. Give me, give me a land, any land. Before my opponent Sony's, I need two lands. Looks like a supreme verdict. Uh, we're gonna revive. We probably want to keep alive the Bowmat. Okay, so this is actually a uh, cryptic. So, because, like, either they're bluffing Cryptic, which does happen more than you think. Eh, settle the wreckage. Yeah, that sucks, actually. That's really bad. I definitely played into that, but there's not much I can really do. But now, I have Etch Champion. And they can't even kill it with a Supreme Verdict, because I have Welding Jar. So they have to have another set of the wreckage to kill Etch Champion. So I'm not mad. But I am kind of mad. I'm spreading Seas. Fixes my mana a little bit. Not really. Now I can't cast Gear Purr. Ooh, Stony Silence. That's bad. That is super bad. So I need exactly... Well, now I can't... Well, of course I got the Mox Opal now. Oh, well. So just if my opponent can remove the... If they can Supreme Verdict, they're good. If they can't, they're not good. Looks like they had it. All right. Uh... I need Spring Leaf. I mean, I need Spire of Industry now. Citadel. My opponent could just be attacking the Celestial Colony. I don't know what they're doing. They're probably just holding up a counter spell. Yeah, I'll play the Vault Scourge. They can hold back Slash of Colony to block, which is fine. Mystic Gate, yep. Nexus, I'm not going to attack because they have Colonnade. So I just need Spire of Industry. Yeah, that's fair if they take my Bitter Boss, and that sucks. Good card. Oh, I would have taken that, because if I top deck a Spire, I, it's a really good card. Well, I guess it's that my opponent knows I have it now, so they can just hold up a counterspell every turn. And click is obviously a clock now. Click the clock. Yep, colonnade's fair. Um. Oh, looks like they. Okay. They got the path. Uh, grid would have been amazing way earlier. I would have probably played Grid over playing Edge Champion for one. Looks like our opponent has the win here. Um, they kind of just got every card they needed. And now I get the Spire. Oh well, GG's. Yeah. If they want to go for maximum BM, they can just swing with Colonnade. And then like let me take one from the Bitter Blossom. GG's. Alright. Good games.